Hi, my name is Dr. Julie Brown, your concussion doctor, diplomate in chiropractic neurology, and fellow in traumatic brain injury and rehabilitation. Today I want to talk about autoimmunity. Uh, before I really got into concussion, I looked a lot at autoimmunity. I enjoyed working with patients that had it. Um, and I say that not because I ever wish that on anybody, but I like enjoy, I enjoy working with those patients. And the most common one I see is actually Hashimoto's thyroid. Um, and I want to separate the difference between an autoimmune reaction versus an autoimmune disease and what is autoimmunity. So you have an immune system. In our systemic, we have a Th1 and a Th2 system. One are the macrophages, you might remember, where it goes and eats whatever it needs to. Th2 is where they tag with antibodies and say, hey, come eat this over here. So what happens is that this goes awry and your body stops identifying self tissue. So in thyroid, for example, your immune system all of a sudden starts tagging it and saying, hey, we don't recognize this tissue, let's eat it, okay, or let's attack it. I always think it's eating, maybe it's not. But uh, we want to look at the immune system. I'm not as concerned about the tissue being attacked, kind of measuring it. There's many different ways to measure it. There's some that are better than others, and that's where the clinician really needs to understand it. But uh, really addressing the immune system. The reason I would be concerned about the, the organ being attacked is disease, autoimmune disease happens when 90% of the tissue has died. Autoimmune reactions happen long before the tissue is dead. And so it makes no sense to me, anyway, to wait until there's actual disease. So I'm looking at patterns. I look at blood work. I look at past history. I look at gut func function and infection and food reactions. Um, to address the immune system to help calm down this tagging of self tissue. So I will talk later in, in other videos a little more about diet and lifestyle. So with autoimmunity, you can also flare it up without food. You can flare it up with stress, with having spikes in sugar, which is stressful on the system, with getting in a concussion, you know, going through a divorce. There are many things that can flare up and confuse your immune system. If you'd like to follow my Facebook, uh, not my Facebook, my website, go ahead and click in the link below. I do have a Facebook if you want. And then over here, there is a link uh, that you can click on to subscribe to my YouTube channel.